Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Joyfully Art. I'm trying to get my chair scooted up here so I can work. Um, let me show you my painting from my last video. It turned out gorgeous. Can't wait to get some um, varnish on it. It'll really make those colors come back out and be stunning. I really love this one. Put that away. Don't want to get any extra paint on it. Okay, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm gonna get my gloves on while I'm talking to you. Um, when I first started wanting to do pour painting, I watched a lot of videos, and one of the first ones that I really loved was um, Ann Osborne. If you don't know who she is, check out her channel. I really like her, and um, she's been doing these, uh, I don't know what she calls them, but she's putting color down, and then she uses a, a piece of plastic and puts them down and then pulls them up, and they're just so neat, and I've been watching her do them for a while now, for a couple weeks, and I just want to give them a try, so I hope that mine turn out half as good as hers do, does. She's a wonderful artist. Give her a, a look. She's really great. So we're gonna give that a try. I'm gonna put down my white. Hope everybody had a good Easter. And our weather has been so fantastic here in Illinois been in the 70s, high 70s, and it even got up to 80 one day. I was so shocked. Of course it is. What is this month anyway? I can't remember. <clears throat> April. So it should be getting. Let's get this tilted out. Get all my sides and corners all covered. Uh, I know I'm showing you the back, but it's just the background. So I think you'll be okay. There's a big lump. Get that out of there. Right off the bat. Looks good here. <clears throat> My white paint smells awful for some reason, and I can't figure out why. I don't. I think it was when I had a batch of that stinky Floetrol that they had going on that one time. Okay, there's that, and. Of course, I put that right over my rag to wipe my hands with my plastic, so I don't want to hands wiped off. Okay, my gloves are falling off. Let's see. Need a bigger space to work. I'm gonna give this a torch. There's quite a few air bubbles in there. Just shook it up. have the pipettes like she uses so I hope that my sticks will drizzle enough on here and I'm gonna use leftover paint that I've been using for a little bit and so I have the Saks um, True Flow they're metallics and I have the red green and 
gold that I'm going to be using. And she just takes it and dribbles it across as much as she wants. There's the green. <clears throat> next. This is also sax. Ooh, that's a big clump. There we go. My table's kind of hard to reach today. And I have red. I'm gonna have to, if I like this and I do more of them, I'm gonna have to invest in some pipettes. Okay. And then I have um, some neon blue. I need to make it a little wider so there won't be so much negative space on each side. And I have neon pink. It's left over from my swipe, my triangle swipe. I might get crazy with this pink because I love it. There we go. And I'm going to have to get a stick, a smaller stick for this one. And this is metallic white. And I did put um, treadmill silicone oil in it to help with cell production. Okay, and there's that, and then I have my little piece of plastic that I really think is kind of too big. And she just puts it over the top like this and kind of smushes it down a little bit. Okay, and I hope mine turns out as nice as yours does. Because yours are really awesome. But we shall see. It's got a wrinkle in it. Let's get that out of there. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Pick some up like this, I think. Try to get it all at once, and here we go. Put it up there. My hand wiped off from that. Oh, 
Oh, all right. Look at that. Got cells, got some bubbles. Let's give it a torch to get the bubbles out. Pop the bubbles. I have my little handy dandy leaf blower and I was gonna blow it out some, but I love this feathery look that's going on. So I don't know if I wanna mess with it or not. And I also wanted to say that, um, I don't know if you watch, if any of my subscribers watch Tracy Reed, her channel, but um, I did order some of her 3D, she makes 3D um, different things from her 3D printer. And one of the things she makes is different um, nozzles for these little blowers, because you can take this off and she makes um, different things for this. Flat ones, like it's on the hair dryer, so you can use it to do um, like mini Dutch pours and everything. And I did order from her some different nozzles. So if you don't watch her channel, please look at her channel and it's on her Etsy store. Um, her Etsy shop, dog hair, of course, that you can order things for your little mini blower. If you have a little mini blower, you can order different um, attachments for it, which is really great. Seeing all kinds of dog hair here. Trying to get rid of it. Let's see if I can get my tweezers to find it again or something else. Okay. I must have got it off with my. Oh, there it is. You buy a painting from me, you might get a signature dog hair in it. No, I'm just kidding. I always try and get it all out. There we go. So, what do you guys think? I wish you all would leave me comments and let me know what you think. I think this is gorgeous. Thank you, Anne, so much for coming up with this. And I think I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I love the feathery look. So here it is with a close up. Nice cells and I love that feathery look. I'm not gonna blow it at all. I'm gonna wipe my edges off. So I won't pull anything down. Make sure everything's good and covered. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you all for being here with me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, share this with whoever you think might like it, friends, family. I thank all my subscribers and um, I hope to get new ones. Leave me a comment, I sure would like to hear from you. And as always, please have a great day.